Hello everybody and welcome to a new series, Doom Tech. This is a very technical, as close to vanilla survival, single player series. Yeah, that's a great description. Um, imagine Sidecraft or Prototech or Hikate, but single player. All of those crazy technical servers, but single player, and that is this. Now, it's not going to be completely um it's not going to be completely vanilla and that's for several reasons one optimization uh, i am running fabric and with fabric i am running the fabric api i am running carpet mod which i will explain in a second i am running three optimization mods called sodium lithium and phosphor they they don't actually change anything about the behaviors of the game uh let me turn my sound on Ew, that's weird. Um, so yeah, they don't change anything about the game, but they change how it is rendered, which is very important, actually, surprisingly. Um, it basically allows me to... It will allow me to make crazy farms here without just going rip <laughs> and having, like, one MSTP. Well, one TPS. MSTP is... Yeah. Um, and the point of this series will be for me to use what I know and learn new skills about the technical aspect of Minecraft and I've been waiting to do this series for a few months now um, I decided that as soon as I get my new mic which I'm using now I will start the series and I got this mic yesterday and I'm starting the new series and I'm I'm gonna be experimenting with the mic and I'm mainly gonna be experimenting with the world here um, this this is using a specific seed um, you can see the seed right here. That is the seed. And this seed is very special. It has a quad witch hut, which will allow me to basically make a crazy, crazy, crazy witch farm. And something else it has is a double ocean monument, which is... I could have tried to find, find a triple ocean monument or a quadruple. There are quadruple ocean monuments, but then it would have been taking a very long time and I decided to just sell for this and I'll be happy enough but before I continue too much further I want to do some carpet mod stuff carpet mod is a mod by Gnembon and he is a great German guy I think he's German don't kill me if he's not um, and he's very smart he's a great technical Minecraft player and he has written this mod and Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the technical side of Minecraft slightly better. Uh, the reason it's not vanilla is mostly because of this mod. So, what I have to do is type carpet. Well, first I have to open to land and with cheats. Carpet. Set default so these these uh, things continue uh, whenever I log off and on. Um, the first thing I'm going to change is control Q crafting. Um... If I can figure out how to spell it, Control to crafting fix to true. Uh, basically, that will allow me to craft a stack and drop it instantly from my inventory without having to place it anywhere. Um, that that is gonna be great for farms where I need to craft automatically. Um, another thing I'm gonna do is renewable coral. True. Uh, what this will do is it will allow me to grow coral and it will allow me to renew it. <laughs> um, that's not a default feature, but it's very useful. And another thing is renewable sponges. That's gonna allow me to struck, strike a guardian with lightning, and it will turn that guardian into an elder guardian, and when an elder guardian is killed, they drop sponges. Now, this will still be very difficult to do, but it will just make sponges renewable, and I'll explain to you in just a second after I finish this, Something else I want to change is Shulkers spawning in end cities to true. Shulkers only spawn when the city generates. They don't respawn, and I'm changing that because I... This is a technical series. I'm going to need thousands upon thousands of Shulker boxes, and exploring for them isn't going to be a viable option. And the last thing I'm changing for now is uh, stackable Shulker boxes. Empty shulker boxes will be able to stack, and that will actually allow me to 
use all the shulker boxes that I'll have. And those are all the rules I'm changing for now. I'll, I'm sure I'll end up changing some more later as I go on. Maybe I'll turn the carpets on so I can monitor in-game things. And actually, something else I'm going to do is... Where? No, 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 not that, not that. Carpet default loggers. I'm going to have both of these. So what that will do... Is... Nothing, apparently. What? Oh wait, yeah, log. Log TPS and log, oh, where is it? Mob caps, there we go. So th what that does is it makes a bunch of numbers appear and those numbers mean a lot of things to me. So the TPS is number of ticks per second. You don't want that dropping below 20. The MSPT is milliseconds per tick, and you don't want that above 50. And the the rest of it is different mob caps, which will be very useful for when I'm making farms. Um, for now, I'm going to um, basically stop talking, and I'm going to do a great big montage, because another mod I have is the replay mod for Fabric. And, oh boy. <laughs> I am I am excited because I've been learning how to use this and I'm going to basically make the next several hours go by in a few minutes. And what I'm going to try to do is get myself basic resources like netherite tools maybe, maybe a beacon, fight the dragon maybe. And after that I'll be able to, I'll all be set to start making crazy farms, making this world really cool and <laughs> hopefully everything turns out well. Um yeah that that's about probably what I'm gonna be explaining for now. Something else I want to quickly add is the player command. This allows me to spawn in a player, any player, with any name, and basically because this is a single player world, I'm not going to be able to just you know, just have some kind of farm design that requires two players because it's a single player world. I mean, I could open it to LAN and log in with a second account, but then that's not single player anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that player command. It, it's very basic things, but you can still automate things like cobblestone generators or just some kind of clicking. Uh, chunk loading, for example, will be very useful for something like world eaters. Um, fun fact, I've never built a flying machine in my life, so that's something I'm going to learn because I'm going to be using those all the time. Yes, for now I am going to log off this world, so I'm not so I'm no longer got cheats. Yes, great English. So I have no longer got cheats. I'll log back in with the replay mod enabled, and I will get on with the world. Whilst I'm here, I thought I'd also tell you that this world is actually being played on hard mode, and that is because certain things in the game can only happen in hard mode, and it will also just help in the very technical side of it that requires the higher chances of it, certain behaviours being in hard mode. For example, zombies breaking down doors. That I can see that being used as something in the technical play and turning villages into zombie villages will be a 100% chance on hard, whereas on normal, it, there's a low percent of it actually happening. Um, something else that I have that I forgot to mention is shulker box tooltip, so that will allow me to just hover over shulker box and see what's inside, and I think that's just very useful because it's not very useful otherwise. Um, the goal, the main goal of this series will be to pretty much make the f fastest farms for everything that there is and to collect a double chestful of shulker boxes of every item. So that'll be easier for non-stackable items and items that don't stack to 64, but for something like 
beacons, that would take a very long time. And that is why we build the crazy farms. It will be to actually make these things possible. And that is why I'm going to be trying to make the craziest farms. The fastest farms possible. And I've already got some pretty good designs. And I'll have to play around because, for example, on, on a proper server with dedicated hardware, a farm could run without lagging the server, but on a single player world without the dedicated hardware, the farm might lag and you won't get the full efficiency of it. Something else about this, because the lighting engine is being done differently with one of the mods, I'm going to have to turn that mod off for something like lighting suppression for when I'm trying to make crazy fast mob farms. And that will probably be done much, much later, but who knows. I'll have to mess around with the mods sometimes just to make certain farms possible. Something else I'll be doing is probably live streaming a lot of this and just taking the highlights out and putting them in for certain farms. I'll, when I'm explaining the actual farm, I'll probably do it in an actual recording like this, but when I'm just building it and like I want to show that something that happened, I'll probably use a combination of the replay mod and the farm itself.
Oh, right, everybody. So, it has been a little bit of time. Uh, I've been AFK mostly for quite a few hours here. And in the meantime, between the last uh, replay clip that I did, that, that took a long time to render, actually. That took almost two hours to render, I think. Um, I don't blame it. There was a lot to render and a lot to process. But, yeah, um, I've upgraded my little... Cactus farm here. This this cactus farm, it's actually it's actually here to make XP. So what happens is the act cactus automatically goes into the furnace. Sometimes I have to supply this with some kind of fuel. I just manually put it in every now and then. And it processes the cactus and it the furnace stores XP and whenever I want to collect the XP I'll just flick that so nothing gets taken out. And then when I take out the next item here, it's gonna give me all the XP from all the other stacks that I've smelted. Uh, I, I hopefully have enough XP there to get me to level 30. I'd like to enchant a pickaxe. That would be very useful. Um, over here, I have a melon farm. What this does currently is just takes it to a composter and gives me some bone meal. I also just throw in some other stuff here, like the sugar cane. I just throw it in here as well, just to get some passive bone meal. This is a very passive XP farm. I, can't, I really need to set up something better. Uh, because this won't last me for long. Um, okay, so let's see how much XP we get. Okay, we got to level 28. That's fine. That's fine, I suppose. Um, I'll I'll just wait until it's night time then, which will be a little bit of time still. Uh, and then when it's night time, I'll just go kill some mobs and hopefully not die. And then I've got a full enchantment table set up over there. That's level 30. And I'll enchant my pick here. Over here, I have a little chicken farm. That's just for eggs, which I have plenty of already, apparently. I, I did say I was AFK for quite a while. Uh, okay, boy. That's a lot of eggs. 
Um, okay, I'll be using these eggs to make a chicken cooker thing because I need some kind of stable food source right now and all I have is this steak here that I got near the start of the world. Um, like when I was just going exploring and killing all the cows. Uh, got some wheat here. This is just to uh, get some, well, wheat. Um, I'll be using that to breed cows later. Something to note is all of this area around spawn will be absolutely destroyed down to bedrock. There will be a massive perimeter here. Uh, hopefully a void perimeter if I'm able to break bedrock efficiently in some way. Um, that's just to get rid of any spawn chunk stuff so it doesn't affect anything else. Uh, where did I put these eggs? For the moment I'll just put them down here. Um, because there's quite a few. I'll put the wheat there and all of that there. I just got an ominous banner, had one of the pillagers kill the leader guy. And yeah, that's the world so far. Um, uh, I was really kind of hoping to like have fought the dragon by now, but I, I would rather just set up some tools first, get good armor. I have full diamond armor already, but I'm not using it because I don't want it to take durability damage. Uh, where is it? It's there. And I've got four netherite ingots. I did some strip mining and a bit of bed action. And that got me enough, surprisingly, quite surprisingly, actually. Um, in the replay that you saw, I the nether was quite bland. Uh, I didn't show me or the portal. That's because I couldn't find it. I could have, I should have just like searched for the player um, using the actual replay commands and stuff. Just straight up gone to the player. But something tells me that there was an issue with the loading of the junks there. Like as if the nether, like hadn't generated the stuff yet, even though the terrain was actually generated. I need to refuel this, actually. Um, but yeah, that's the world so far. I'm just gonna try to get enough XP to get a level 13 chant done, and I'll maybe start digging out some chunk somewhere around here near the spawn uh, for a slime farm, because a slime farm would be extremely useful right now to make all the, all the um, flying machines and <laughs> crazy stuff that I would actually need. Uh, one of the first things I'll do with it is just bomb down this spawn area, maybe. I Maybe not instantly, but I'll I'll be tearing all of this down and locating, like, I'm not going to have a central base or anything. It's just going to be kind of all over the place, you know? Um, kind of like how a technical survival series should be, I suppose. Although, more like a server than single player. Um, yeah, that's that's it for now. Uh, maybe I'll do a lot of stuff on stream and I'll just show you the highlights of it, or maybe I'll show you the end progress. Who knows? Breaking through efficiency for perfect. That's exactly what I need. Um, ooh, should I? I'll just use this pick. I'll save this pick for an emergency, I guess. <laughs> oh, guys. I was just working on the slime farm over there, and there was lava pouring down this hill, so I didn't really go down here to check anything out, but look at this. We've got a skeleton spawn of all things here. Alright, yeah, so this will make a pretty good XP farm, actually, and it will make a good bone meal farm. We're going to need a lot of bones for bone meal to make uh, crop farms and all that kind of stuff, so I guess something I'll do quickly, then, is just make a quick little skeleton grinder and then I might end this episode
Alright, so we got 30 levels pretty quick there. Um, so let's do some enchantments here. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Now I want to check out some of this armor. Protection 4 is what I'm looking for. Mm, sword? Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. None of these are good. What's going on? Breaking 3. Let's go for that. <laughs> oh, no. It's just I'm breaking 3. Oh, but we have protection 4 next, and I'm going to go grind a little bit more XP and put this protection 4 onto my chest plate, and then we'll have some, some decent armor, hopefully. Okay. And yeah. Yeah, I'm going to put protection 4 on my chest plate next. Um, we're doing pretty well in this world. Uh, going to go get this protection 4, and then I'll end the episode. <laughs> okay, everybody. So, I got enough XP to do pretty much the whole armor, if the rest of the armor is good. Breaking 3, I'm not sure that's worth it. I'll take Protection 3 on the boots, you know. Oh, that was awful. Oh no. Uh, but it's better, it's much better than Iron Arm, and I'll now be able to venture into the nether somewhat more safely. What? Oh, yeah, that's not worth it. Efficiency 3, that's going to be the same for all of those. That's not worth it either. I have another Efficiency 4 and Breaking 3 pick over here, actually. Um... So when this one wears down to almost nothing, I'll put these two together in an animal, get efficiency 5, combine it with a netherite ingot, and have myself an efficiency 5 pick, which will be amazing. But that's about it for today, guys. Um, we did quite a lot of progress here. We have a little hut here, got a bunch of sugarcane, full enchantment table, chicken farm kind of idea, a little bit of wheat, a very passive bone meal farm which I'll now be tearing down because we have the skeleton grinder which I'll show in just a sec. Um, got an automatic attributing farm, got a passive XP farm. I'd, I wonder how many XP we've got here. I've got some uh, chicken cooking there. Let me just turn that hopper off. We had over a level of XP there. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Um, and this is just fully passive. All I have to do is put fuel in there, which can be done automatically as well. And now let's go, uh, I'll show you the skeleton farm. Um, it's nothing too special. Got that mossy cobble over there, which is right above the spawner. It's down like 15 or 14 blocks, I think. And we've got all this. I'm going to need to come, come up with some kind of sorting system or something. Uh, I want to sort out the bones and the arrows mainly. And then have the rest of it just go into a junk chest. Uh, these bows can be used to make the spencers, which is great. Some of these enchanted ones I might put together, or I might use a grindstone to get rid of the enchantments and get more XP that way. That would be really good, actually. And can see skeletons going up there, and you can just kill them here. They're one-hit kill, so you can do it with your fist unless they have armor. But yeah, that's that's probably about it. Oh, I also did. Did a bit of a slime farm. I got 15 slime balls from one big slime that's managed to spawn there. It's nothing great, but I, I'd i like to basically make a, a TNT duper before I like just start digging the whole place. But yeah, this, this is a slime chunk here. This is just Y39 here. And slime should be able to spawn here. I'll get enough slime blocks eventually to make a TNT duper and make that into a full chunk. And then after that, I'll be able to make the crazy big things um, with enough slime and time, of course. But yeah, that's about it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this first episode of a brand new series. Uh, I have a lot of giant plans, so be sure to stick around, subscribe, and like the video if you want to see more. And I'll be back in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.